588, core 588 is our, um, our second generation molecule. Like our lead molecule, core 388 or atuzagenstat, it is also a lysine gingipane inhibitor. So it works by the same mechanism. Um, it has a longer half-life, so it will be, a, uh, we believe at this point that it will be um, based on data, from, particularly from this uh, uh, first human study, that it will be a once-a-day drug. Um, it uh, has a, a cleaner profile uh, uh, overall in, in uh, all the tox studies. And um, it's, it's in a, a single and multiple acinic dose study um, uh, that we described the single doses were at 25, 50, 100, and 200 milligrams uh, each single dose. The multiple acinic dose will study it for uh, 10 days, uh, once a day dosing. And, the, and like uh, all phase one studies, or most phase one studies, um, the key outcomes from this are simply efficacy. Uh, I'm sorry, there are no efficacy outcomes, just safety and PK. Um, and so far, the safety has been um, very, very clean as expected. Um, really nothing that's clinically significant um, on, on any of the safety measures. And, um, and the PK has been well behaved. It's, it's uh, a little more than linear within the dose range studied so far. Um, as I said, it's, it's um, the, the lead molecule had about a five hour half-life. This one's more like 10 or 12. Um, and and, and uh, because of the irreversible mechanism, we think it will um, uh, be, be uh, fine to dose it as a once a day drug as opposed to twice a day on the lead molecule. Uh, so that's a quick update about the, the second generation core 5 molecule.